to our country. And then, and then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of Everybody months old. Everybody start recording. If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is real. It's probably being taken down on Facebook. I heard 12. I counted 12. I counted 12 shots fired. Oh, really? Is that true, Peter? Let me get my shoes. Hold that in your head. She's worried about getting his shoes on. What a badass. Watch out. These guys have to sacrifice their lives. That's what the job entails. Look at him pumping his fist. Tell me this guy's not the baddest badass there ever has been in the president. Holy macadamia nut. What's going on, party people? Man, I can't do the whole introduction right now. It's just a bad day right now. Um, as we all know, somebody tried to take out Donald Trump. What? And... Man, this is giving me chills, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew something like this would have happened, you know what I'm saying? We got too many deranged people out here, too many deranged folks out here, too many Democrats out here who are in their emotions, you know? And um, Biden cannot beat Trump fair and square, so they had to bring out the goons. I don't know, the CIA is, sub uh, is part of it, but man, if we see... I'm just, I'm just shocked. I just listened on the radio. I'm on my way home from work and I heard the breaking news that, um, Mr. Trump almost got deleted today. And I guarantee you it's a Democrat. Got to be a Democrat. They say they got the shooter right now. Um, but look at Mr. Badass right here, man. Mr. Trump, he walks off the stage. Pumping his fucking fist. You can't take him out. You can't take him out. And we have the Republican National Conventions coming up on Monday. He's supposed to uh, announce his VP this week. And the momentum is growing too big for them. Biden is losing badly. He tried everything. He tried a lawfare. And that failed fantastically. They tried to put that damn insurrection on his neck and that failed <laughs> man they almost got the dude and here's mr trump walking off stage oh. on his own two feet ears bleeding you know they tried to do a headshot there was maybe 10 to 12 shots going at at the trump and man it would have been an ugly ugly day they almost got him. They almost got him. And he's over there pumping his fists. Fight, fight, fight. On his own two feet. Ears bleeding. They almost got him, people. Pennsylvania. Biden's home state. He's running up the numbers on him. And they try to take him out. They can't beat him fair and square. They try to put him in prison. And he's still, still. Now, you can't tell me that he's going to lose this election. Reports got it maybe an AR-15 with a suppressor or something. Because this came out pop, 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 pop. You know, 
I think another person got injured, but I knew something like this was going to happen. The crowds are too big. You can't vet them all. Um, just like the insurrection, you know, he had people coming at his rally. Then you had the bad folks come at the rally also. You can't vet them all. And so this is what happens, man. They try to take him out. They try to take the man out, man. This coming election, do not wait till November to vote. Vote as early as you can and bring a friend. All right. This election is too big to rig, folks. Can't let them go down like that. We can't let them go down like that. And all you niggas out there who still talking shit. I know some of you out there in the streets happy about this. Fuck you and fuck your mama. Biden, you're a piece of shit. All your followers are a piece of shit. And everybody who stand with Biden's a piece of shit. Fuck, man. Can't beat him fair and square. You try to put him in jail, that shit failed. And now you try to take him out. And it's going to fail. Because his VP, J.D. Vance, I'm going to predict it's going to be J.D. Vance. If he pick his VP, we're still going to vote for VP. Mr. Vance over Biden. Yes. Fuck you, Democrats, man. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. Trump, stand strong. We, you still got our support, man. You're a real man. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell to get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right. The next time I'll see you again. Are you Democrats? Fuck off.